Hey Burbank students, this is Mr. Huang again. For our last project this year, I wanted to do something special. For this project, you're gonna be creating a back to school superheroes poster. In this poster, I want you to imagine what school would be like when we return and how students can stay safe when we do return back to the classroom. So for this project, I want you to keep some things in mind. Here are some guidelines for the project. Number one, your project must be either hand-drawn painted or created on a computer. The size should be about eight and a half by 11 inches. That's the size of a plain sheet of copy paper or line paper. Number two, you should be creating an original superhero. That means it's your own creation. Number three, make sure your poster includes the following things. Number one, the superhero's name. Number two, artwork showing the superhero. And number three, one specific action students can take to help themselves and others to be safe when we return. Some of the suggestions could include social distancing, covering your sneezes and coughs, washing your hands for at least 30 seconds, staying home when you're sick, or wearing a face covering. Remember, these are just a few of the suggestions. Finally, this poster should be photographed and submitted through Google Classroom or emailed to me at rhuang at husd.k12.ca.us by the end of the day on Thursday, June the 4th, 2020. If you have any problems submitting through Google Classroom or email, just send me a message through Google Classroom and we can set alternative ways for you to submit the poster. Now, judging the poster, is gonna follow these four criteria. Number one, use of space. Do the images and words cover most of the poster? Try leaving as little space as you can on your poster. Even coloring in white spaces would count as filling in those spaces. Number two, creativity. How unique is your solution to helping keep students safe? And how is your drawing creative? Is it unique? Number three, craftsmanship. How neat is your work? Make sure you're coloring in things correctly. Your lines should be connected when they're supposed to be connected. And your paper is free of smudges and wrinkles or tears. And the number four criteria, the message clarity. Is your message to the viewer clear? Will others know what to do when they see your suggestion? Are your words spelled correctly? and are your words legible or easy to read? On June 5th, teachers will be asked to rank their top three entries. The highest ranked entry at each grade level will win a pizza or an equivalent prize delivered to their home between June 10th and June 14th. And their posters will also be reproduced and displayed around the school next year. I hope everybody is able to stay safe this summer and we can all return next year. I can't wait to see everybody's ideas and your superheroes for this poster contest. Good luck and have a great summer.